Hi, I'm Stuart J. Raj. And Women the Raj. And this is South by Southeast Confrontation. So tell me, why do Westerners love confrontation? Do Westerners love confrontation? Or why would you, I don't know, like you seem to be comfortable with it? Yeah, I see, okay. To put this in context, I see any time that somebody, say on Facebook or in a discussion thread, throws something out that challenges even my view, you will see them as attacking me. Where yeah. I just, I actually like people challenging my views. Yeah, I guess I guess when in um, when people write something like that on Facebook or on social media, you you don't see their tones of voice, so you don't know if they were you know if they were angry or if they were upsetting. They could be smiling while you're typing it, mm. or you don't know. So you assume that everyone was ang- angry because they don't see eye to eye with you or because they don't agree on what you're saying. But back to my question, um, yeah, it seems like. Westerners are very comfortable with confrontation. In some culture, like French people, they love confrontation. Yeah. But in Asia, it's different. So why? I, I will let you answer my question first. Okay, let me answer in a few levels. Number one, for me personally, yeah, my religion is always challenging my own belief. Okay. And for me, that was a life-changing thing. So I went through a period of about 15 years where I had three questions. What do I believe? Do I really believe it? Why do I believe it? And I was brutally honest with myself, and that being honest with myself changed which, who I was. Okay, okay, which I like, but there also in a personal level, you actually whatever people say to you or tell you, you believe it right away. You have no filter. Ah, it's true. It's true. Like that, you like if someone tell him something, this and this and this and that, he will just repeat that to me without even like thinking oh, okay, about. Okay. And I have to smack your head. Okay, so this this is time. another thing too. You're taking the fact that I'm relaying this as me believing it, where I would see that as a point of a new discussion. So I don't necessarily believe what I say, and I think this is one key thing between Westerners and people in this part of the world that. We enjoy discussion, and we're I trained. Enjoy discussion. No, no, no. We we enjoy discussion on topics that we might not even be interested in. Or it's true. Okay, that's true because I don't enjoy discussing something that I'm not interested to. I know because, you don't because it's a waste of my time. I would rather spending time talking about something that I like or I enjoy. So if you want to talk to me about like I don't know language, for okay, example. Okay, so so coming back to that topic. I actually really say you're going to a networking thing, and I've been in this um, situation where I might meet somebody, and their passion is nuts and bolts or screws. They work in a factory that makes <laughs> bolts. That for me Why? actually could be fascinating. Learning Shut about up. how threads evolve okay, and okay. how this. Okay, but when, when again, when, when I talk about. Um, for example, fashion, designers, makeup. You you don't seem to be interested in that. You don't want to learn I, more. You don't want to know. You don't want to know if my pink nail is actually got brighter burnt than today. got burned today. I'm such an idiot. Um, yeah. Why is that? So you only I interested in I a topic think, that you are interested. I in. think I give those topics quite a lot of time already. I sat and watched Versace. <laughs> Which is actually a good documentary. Netflix. It's nothing to do with the fashion. It's about the mm. murderer, which is actually good. So Super I would do that. Show. However, if I sat and started watching a show on Netflix that you like, that, that sorry like. that I like and you don't. Well, I don't watch it because I don't like to <laughs> pretend to like something that I don't like. Right. So coming back to it, what you see is arguments, and you see is this. I actually. One, I think it's a really good mind exercise to be able to take two points of an argument yeah. and argue I the opposite that. side. I like debate. We have certain friends too that we will see that no matter what you put out there, they will just for the sake of arguing, oh yeah, argue a point. And sometimes I can see that. And sometimes like, it's fun, but sometimes it's like shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Because there's no valid points in what he's trying to say. There, there could be valid points, no. and it's our duty. To come up with something valid to do to to go against that point, and that's where the challenge is. 
For French people, I know this is a big thing, and you're taught to debate in school from a very young age. We we are taught to deb- debate in school, but like our debate topics are like dumb. Yeah, yeah. Where <laughs> we where we will actually debate religion, we yeah, will be no. debate beliefs. Yeah, we'll see, we don't. Politics. We we never we never have you know go near any of those topics. We debate about you know is it better to be a boy or a girl or gay or or shit like that. So or all of them. All of them, yeah. Yeah, so no, so capping back to it, I like I personally believe that there's value in challenging beliefs and thing, and uh, sure. I personally believe I like to learn anything. Okay, say topics about getting to pink nails and stuff like that. I can sit and listen to it. I'm not going to get passionate about it. But you actually, he's actually you were at one point were interested in my fake nail. So he actually asked how it made, and you know. Yeah, so like, I did it's ask very you fascinating because I because have no archaic. idea that you get these blobs of goop on your fingernails, <laughs> and they make those didn't actually look like nails. These grew from blobs. <laughs> so I learned. I didn't realize that. That was new knowledge for me, and yeah. I feel a much greater human being in knowing <laughs> that now. Okay. And well, so, that's you. I don't think most guys would want to know if if my nail were made of. But, ca- but coming back but, to yeah, it, yeah. Okay, coming back to that, I guess part of it is your culture that you are allowed at young age to debate, to talk to adults, to express your views. Yeah. While with us, we're not allowed to do any of those. Yeah, and then doubled with, I guess, the Indian culture where everything is about debating. Oh my god! Indian culture number one word is even if you agree, no. Yes, but no. And then you work it off of that. Yeah, and then with Thais, everything is yes. Even when you ask them a negative question, they still say yes. Because it's avoiding conflict. Yeah, because we don't like conflict. I remember when Swanapoom Airport opened and, you know, those glass elevators in there and they got stuck. And these foreigners are going crazy trying to get out. And they see the security guard down there and the security guard is just looking up like this. I and they're thinking, how can you be smiling like that? Because well, he can't speak English. One, he couldn't speak English. Two, well, they'd already told the lift people to come and they weren't coming just yet. So what are you going to do? Run away? Okay, you look at them and smile. At least they feel good. It's avoiding sure. conflict. But the people in the elevator, the Westerners, are I'm thinking, how off. could you be smiling at a situation like this? What else are you going to do? I actually yeah. like the tie point in, in that. Um, I can see it. Though, yeah, sometimes a sense of urgency, just even the look of it yeah, is appreciated. True. Yes. The point is when we are working in a, you know, this kind of environment where we work with different people from different parts of the world and sometimes we have this dispute and, yeah, it's come out from the uh, foundation of you people like to confront and our people don't want to confront. Yeah, and one thing I can say is as much in my private life, I do enjoy challenging ideas and I'll even play see, devil's I do, advocate. Too. I do, I do like that too, but with Thai, like I can see where I see where you're coming from and I see if you've done it with people. But just the way you do it with a Thai, you need to you can't just go out into their face and no. say but you've done it. You, I know I've I seen do it, you've done it. Yeah. But you need like you if you want to change the way we think or the way we are in your workplace or wherever, you need to you take you need to take a different approach. I think instead I, of doing like just go hard call like this is how it is and this is what I believe and this is how I want to believe it. Maybe approach it with a smile. Can I can I bring up? I know what that like one thing is at Central Embassy when you go to the food court downstairs. When you walk in, if you are a Westerner, no, see, now let me let me finish. If you're that's not even an issue. No, well, this is an issue though. This is with me where I have to learn. If you are a Westerner, you will be given one colored card to to charge your food. If you're an Asian face, another color. If you're Thai, another color. And I, for me, that gets under my skin because actually, sometimes when you're holding, say, the yellow card, people will not want to speak Thai to you because they just assume they're not going to understand you. But if you've got an orange card, they think you're Thai and they'll speak. So I just like to take the Thai card. It's no and you get in angry the at them for no reason well, because they were trained to do that. And it's part of their marketing um, exercise. Right. It's part of their marketing exercise. In the West, you couldn't do it. And so I would say to them, do you really think it's nice that 
you're yeah. basing your judgment just on how somebody looks to what kind but of pattern you're going to give them. But you say the worst way possible. Well, I guess that there's no way you can say it nicely. No, no, there are plenty of ways to do it nicely, and then there there shouldn't be emotional attached into that kind of conversation because it has nothing. They didn't do it. Against to uh, to you know against you. No, and I realized yeah. that they they one they didn't do it against me. Exactly. Two, it's not even it's, a notion to them that this is. It's like a marketing exercise. Or, they just want to yeah exactly. They just want to know. I mean, they could have found a better way to do to their marketing but, or research, but this is how they do it. So sometimes you know what. So with a Western mind, though, I would be thinking if I put pressure on these guys, it's going to get back up the chain, and they'll say, "Oh, it won't. Happy. It won't." And that's the reality. <laughs> It won't. She has a point. It's not going to get back exactly. up to the chain so because they're not going to tell people. Sometimes you need to. You also need to take um, stoic approach in life and just let it go. And yeah, I don't do that often, but you know, in Thailand, that's how it is. You you can just go yell and raise your voice and as it will do loud, nothing. exactly as loud as you can, but it will get you nowhere. And so, with this stoic ending, I hope it's been entertaining. <laughs> Confrontation in Asia, and especially you Thailand. You can do it. You can do it, but take do it in a nice way. It's a nice. There are ways that you can approach people. And from experience, it's not going to get you very far. Um, Sometimes it is. You'll probably what it is. lose some friends, or a lot of friends, and create some enemies. A lot of friends we have lost. lost. <laughs> yeah, but um, a confrontation, if it's amongst yourselves, you know who you can um, have yeah. debates with. Um, if you want very big debates, they're mass debates, but that's another story. But other than that, just don't look for confrontation. I think that's all we've got to say on this topic. Yes. I'm Stuart J. Raj. This is we need the Raj. South by Southeast. No more confrontation. Thanks for watching and we'll see you for the next episode. Bye. Bye.